HVAC Beginner's Guide to Basic Commissioning for Rooftop Package Gas Units. Today, if you wanna learn more about commercial rooftop package units, today's that video. So I'm Tad, you're watching Tips for Technicians. Let's do a basic overview and layout of the design of this unit, where the components are located, and what you need to know when setting up and commissioning a piece of equipment like this. All right, layout and design. So we're gonna open all these panels in a minute, but you need to know this is the indoor blower section where the blower housing is. And this right here is the gas heat section where the gas heat is, you need to set your gas pressure. This is your filter section where you change your filters on this particular piece of equipment and your compressors are in there. So when you have your gauges, you'll need to check your compressors. This right here is where your electrical section is, your relays, your contact, your, your simplicity control board. And this right here is the return panel, the supply panel, and then you have a couple of black dots. Those black dots are where you can insert a temperature probe to measure your supply temp, return temp, check your temperature split, check your pressure drop across your coil. And those are different things you'll learn, but this is just a basic overview. So uh, condenser section and then your outdoor fan motors. Now let's go to the first section and let me talk just a minute. So this is your indoor blower motor. What you need to know is it's mounted on a plate and that plate has four bolts. One, two, three, four, okay? And that's how you move this blower motor up and down. And when you do that, you're going to adjust the tension of the belt. So if your belt's loose, you may need to adjust this screw to move the motor up and down to be able to readjust the blower motor and the belt so that you can make sure it's nice and tight and it's moving properly, okay? Second thing you need to know is this pulley right here is adjustable. And this pulley is how you adjust the speed of the motor, okay? Now it's got a variable frequency drive, okay? So I can actually adjust from uh, like one to 60 Hertz and I can adjust fan speed with this on this model. But most of the time you have an adjustable pulley and you have to uh, basically take that set screw there and there's a keyway underneath it and you have to adjust the set screw out uh, so that you can turn this in and out and adjust the pitch so that you have more speed. But this has variable frequency drive, so that's how I'll adjust the speed on this one. But that's just a little bit of a knowledge for you guys that don't know anything about commercial rooftops. You have an adjustable, you have a fixed side of this pulley and an adjustable side and you gotta loosen the set screw so that you can adjust that. All right, make sure when you start up the unit, you pay attention to that arrow, okay? It's gonna show you rotation, and you have a wheel there, okay? And you're gonna be able to see if your wheel's turning the right direction by that arrow, okay? It's gotta go this way, okay? If it's going this way, you may have to change a leg of your power, okay? What do you do if it's turning backwards? You just take one of those legs, you take, it looks like an Allen, uh, Allen's, uh, uh, Allen tool to be able to uh, take one of those wires out and just swap it, okay? And what else can happen with your polarity being reversed is because this is three phase, uh, it's not single phase, so it's three phase, so one leg may need to be moved, is that your compressors can make a very, very louder, unusual noise. Uh, your suction and discharge pressure are gonna be about the same, and you need to pay attention when you first start it up because blower motor could be spinning backwards, or your compressors could be uh, spinning backwards and making a, a very unusual noise, okay? There's your compressors, and this right here is where you hook up your gauges, you see? You've got your suction, so you're gonna hook up your low side gauge to this side right here, and then you've got your discharge coming out of the top of the compressor, and that right there is where you hook up your discharge, okay? Uh, keep in mind there's some pressure switches, so that's nice safeties there. Uh, these are 24 volts, so you definitely need to be aware. Uh, if you have a low pressure, high pressure situation, then it's gonna cut that off. Boom, baby, yeah! All right, now getting on to the board here. I'm gonna click on the unit so you guys can see the simplicity control come on. But this right here is uh, a way to change different parameters inside of the unit. Um, you can actually use this control with the thermostat or this control can operate this unit. So that's really fantastic about simplicity controls. Also st stores error codes, displays error codes. Uh, let's go ahead and start the unit and we'll talk some more, okay? Got a disconnect here. Make sure safety is first, guys. If you uh, turn off a disconnect, you need to do a lockout, tag out, and make sure that you're safe as possible when uh, messing with these types of units. 
All right, so what do you need to know? You need to know that there's some fuses here. Uh, you need to know that you have a fuse for your low voltage on your transformer. That looks like a 75VA transformer. So yeah, pretty nice. Actually, yeah, 75VA transformer right there. See that? Got two transformers on this one. Pretty nice. Uh, looks like you've got a phase monitor here. Okay, so you can monitor the phase and make sure that there's no faults there. Um, so, all right, contactors to control your compressors, uh, capacitors for your outdoor fans, relay. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to go up? Okay, so it's setting, it's starting up now. Uh, let's click a button so you guys can see it. Yeah, start up, all right? And then we have a joystick right here, an enter and a cancel button so that we can move through different options, choose what we need to. Um, so you guys know about uh, change in polarity. Let's talk about gas heat section. We haven't talked about gas heat section yet. This is something we need to go over. Gas pressure has to be set. Uh, when you're burning natural gas, you need to make sure it's three and a half inches water, water column. So you need to measure the outlet um, with a manometer on this. If you guys wanna learn more about setting gas pressure, pressure, check out my playlist, Tips for Technicians. We have a control board, inducer motor, and a pressure switch, okay? We have a burners, we have an igniter coming from our ignition control board and a flame sensor. Uh, we inlet pressure should be no more than 14 inches of water column. And uh, if it's propane, burns at 10, uh, natural gas burns at three and a half. This one right here, if it's two stage, which this is not, if it's two stage, you have a low fire and high fire, okay? Low fire for natural gas is like one and a half inches of water column and then high fire is three and a half, all right? For propane, low fire is four and a half, and then high fire is 10. So make sure you set your gas pressure. You need to do that when you're commissioning this type of piece of equipment here, okay? I think I've went over just about everything. Oh, looks our blower kicked on. It's turning the right direction. That means I don't have to change anything. Oh, I'm just kidding, guys. I actually already changed it. <laughs> So, on your startup, you need to make sure you measure the amp draw of your motors and all of your compressors, okay? There's two compressors, so I'm gonna measure amp draw on both compressors. And then my outdoor fan motors, there's four. And then my indoor motor, there's one. And then you're gonna use your gauges to check both of the compressors. That's both circuits, okay? Because I've got two circuits on this unit, not just one. So that's very critical when starting up one of these units. There's where the return is and the filters right there. And then that is the supply. And this is where the heat exchanger is. So supply and return. Just want to show you that as well in this video. Also make sure that you check for noises because if you hear something that's a weird noise, check it out. Make sure a fan blade's not hitting. Make sure that you don't have anything going on. Okay, that's a trap. Uh, that way you are, well, you're safe from having any type of water coming up on your coal or staying in your pan and then you need to make sure you have a shut off for your gas a shut off and then also a drip leg that way you have any any debris or water or anything build up it'll go in that trap instead of getting inside of your gas valve okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is just basic overview and setup and commission of a rooftop package unit if i left anything out let me know i want you guys to be safe out there and I also want you to be comfortable and confident uh, in that you have the knowledge necessary to be able to fix units. Make sure you have your gauges and make sure you are putting your gauges on the system to be able to monitor the startup. There can be airflow adjustments that need to be made. There's definitely gas ad pressure adjustments that need to be made. Um, but that's a lot of, lot of what you need to know. Let me know what else you guys want and I will do videos. And remember, I'll keep you cool if you let me. <laughs>